a second time this year, the Bernalillo County Metro Court is providing an opportunity to clear outstanding warrants before the holiday season. The Home for the Holidays virtual safe surrender event, which will take place throughout the month of November, will provide people an opportunity to turn themselves in on outstanding misdemeanor warrants in exchange for favorable consideration by the court. To tell us more about the event, we're joined by Chief Judge Joshua J. Sanchez and the Public Information Officer from the Metro Court, Camille Baca. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you guys so much for being here this morning. Judge, tell us a little bit about what Metro Court's Home for the Holidays Safe Surrender event is all about. So the event is really all about making sure people can responsibly address any outstanding low-level misdemeanor warrants and do it in a safe manner. Uh, you contact our customer service division at 505-841-8151. Uh, they will check and see if you have any outstanding warrants. Uh, if your case and your warrant qualifies, they'll get you scheduled for a virtual hearing. So you got to make sure you've got the latest Zoom downloaded. Uh, from there, you'll get your court date. Um, you'll appear in front of that judge virtually and have that warrant addressed to get your case back on schedule. Or maybe they'll just figure out that you need to pay a fine and straighten things out and really just handle things responsibly and safely for the community. Now, Camille, this is the second event this year of this type. Uh, why is this so important? How did the previous event go? Yeah, that's right, Stephanie. So um, back in the spring, Metro Court held its first ever vir virtual safe surrender event. Okay. And um, really the idea behind it being held virtually is that we're hoping to ease people's apprehensions about coming in to address these outstanding matters. And um, it was extremely successful before. So we are judges. They did address 232 outstanding warrants at that time. And um, we also collected 2,500 in outstanding fines and fees. So we're hoping again this month by having it available the entire month of November, um, that again, this provides people, you know, 30 days, come on in, get these matters addressed. Um, we really couldn't make it easier as far as coming in, dealing with these low level um, misdemeanor warrants to go ahead and really just make it safer for our community as a whole. And you just brought up a really good point, making it safer for our community as a whole. Judge, how do these surrender, safe surrender events positively impact the community? The positive impact that the Safe Surrender Program has on the community is people turning themselves in um, and taking care of their warrants. I don't mean turning themselves in and going to jail, but turning themselves in, having a virtual visit with the judge and uh, addressing their warrants. It handles things safely because we have law enforcement still out in the community doing what they need to do. Um, you know, typically somebody gets arrested on a warrant. We're taking an officer off the street mm -hmm. for two, three hours to go through the booking process. Uh, just with the 200 and some that we uh, warrants that we took care of last time, we probably saved close to 700 hours out on the street for officers to be out there dealing with other things rather than booking somebody on a traffic warrant. Um, and again, we want to make sure that people are doing this safely. You know, too, t too many times you'll see the situation of somebody gets nervous with a warrant that turns into, you know, some sort of a pursuit and things mm -hmm. look dangerous and be can become dangerous. We want to avoid those situations to just have people come turn themselves in and address the warrants in a safe manner, keep the community safe, keep law enforcement safe. Camille, we kind of addressed mm -hmm. this at the very beginning, but how do people uh, take part in this situation if they are someone with a misdemeanor warrant? Absolutely, so it's extremely easy, Stephanie. So what people need to do is to call our customer service division. It's 505-841-8151. Um, at that point, um, our clerks, they'll go ahead and screen the individuals to see if they are eligible for this event. If so, they'll go ahead and schedule them for that virtual hearing down the road where they'll be able to appear via Zoom. Okay. Um, so, you know, really they're able to address these matters entirely from home. And um, we're hoping again to, you know, really be able to take a big chunk of those warrants, get those addressed, um, and really just have everybody head into the holiday season, you know, with one less more, one less thing to be stressed about. Perfect. Thanks again, guys, so much for being here this morning. Thank you.